so hi guys uh, so let me introduce uh, we are going to start the segment trees uh, concept video session so uh, the difficulty level of this session is intermediate and in this session you will be mainly learning about segment trees like uh, how do segment trees work when do we use segment trees and how to construct segment trees and lastly we will see how do we implement segment trees also along with this uh, we will also see how uh, are the what are the different variations of segment trees so yeah let's proceed so why do we use segment trees now segment tree is one of the most used data structures in comparative programming so segment trees are used in cases where there are multiple range queries on an array and modifications of the elements of the same array so you must have seen uh, problems like uh, we have uh, we have a lot of queries and there are two operations given so one of them is like we have to update a certain element of the array and the second operation is say we have to uh, find the sum between uh, say a range given as l comma r so this is the uh, kind of questions where we can use segment trees now there are also certain questions uh, so basically range query questions so another type of range query questions is like uh, the, we, can, we are given a range where we have to find the minimum in that range or the maximum in that range or we have to find the XOR of all elements in that range so all such queries or all such questions can be solved with the help of segment trees so now uh, without wasting time now let us directly proceed to how we can construct a segment tree now let us start the construction of segment tree so uh, the queries we have today uh, so for this uh, type of segment tree we have uh, these kind of queries that update element at position i so we have to update any given element uh, at any given position and then uh, second type of queries that we have to find the sum between uh, l to r so here uh, i have not included the right uh, rightmost uh, index uh, because it's easier for implementation so basically what we have to do is we have to f uh, find the sum of a l plus a of l plus one plus up to a of r minus one uh, in this way okay so now uh, let us quickly proceed to how we are going to construct a segment tree so now to construct a segment tree uh, first we need an array to make a segment tree of so let us consider uh, we have an array of something like 1 4 7 6 2 3 and 5 so how many elements we have we have seven elements so now the first and foremost thing to construct a segment tree is that a segment tree needs to be a complete binary tree now as you know uh, so let us uh, so since we need a complete binary tree so these are the leaves of the uh, uh leaves of the binary tree right so now let us write this so this is one this is four this is seven this is six this is two this is three and this is five now uh as you know for a complete binary tree so to make this as a complete binary tree we need uh nodes to the power of two so here we have seven nodes so we'll just add an extra zero node over here so this is a necessary part uh, in calculating the sum so now we will just start calculating sum so the sum of these two nodes will be 5 so just write it now the sum of these two nodes will be 13 just write it sum of these two nodes will be 5 again and sum of these two nodes will be 5 again now the sum of these two will be 18 uh, now the sum of these two will be 10 now lastly the root node uh, so the sum of all the nodes of the array it is nothing but 28 so here we have constructed our segmentary now what let us see what does each of these nodes specify so let us start from this node so if you see this node this node is nothing but the sum of the segment from 0 to 1 so this is the sum of the segment now this 18 what is 18 18 is nothing but the sum of segment of one uh, from zero node to the third node right uh, same you can see this it is the sum for all the all the nodes right and uh, you can check it out for the same node like respectively now 
let us first see the update operation so first we will be seeing the update operation now what does the update operation exactly help us to do so let us say uh, say you have to update this value so for example here you don't want to and you have decided that you want say maybe 7 over here now when you update a value of a node so then we have to recalculate all the nodes above it so all its ancestors so now this is 7 plus 3 so now this 5 it just became 10 right so we will write 10 over here now this is 10 so 10 plus 5 this became not 10 but it became 15 so instead of 10 we write 15 and again uh, instead of year 28 what we'll write is 18 plus 15 which is 33 so instead of 28 we'll write 33 so if you check after updating one node we updated exactly number of nodes equal to the height of the tree so basically the update function has complexity of o of log n right now let us see what is the complexity of our sum function so range sum function right so let me just show you here itself so now uh, imagine so let me just drop this mm, yeah so imagine now you uh, want the range sum from this element to this element so what we do is we directly start uh, a recursive traversal from the root node okay so from the root node we check whether the root node so the whether the entirety of the segment under the root node is in the given range so no it is not because uh, these are unrequired nodes right in the sum so now we go to its children so we go to the left child that is 18 now we again check if 18 is it in the required segment so not entirely but some of its nodes are there so yes so we again go further we again go deeper so we reach 5 now do we uh, we check if 5 so if any of the nodes in the segment of 5 are they in the required range so yes it is still there so we again go deeper and so we finally reach 4 so yes 4 is in the required range that means 4 has to be included now what we do is here uh, we return here we go to its right child now when we go to its right child we go to 13 we check if all the no uh, if we check if the whole segment of 13 is in the given range now as we see yes it is so we just return it from here and now we will directly go to the right child of the top root node so we reach 15 now we again check if uh, the whole segment of 15 is in the required range so no but there is some part of it so we continue the traversal we go to the left child so we reach 10 now now we again ask the question whether the whole of the segment uh, belonging to 10 is in the given range again no so we again go to the left child 7 yes we return now we go to 3 so is 3 in the required range no so we again return and the same will follow with the uh, right uh, right traversal of this node so if you check we reach 4 13 and 7 at last and from here we return so our final sum will include 4 plus 13 plus 7 so now this is nothing but the range sum of our interval now here if you check we again we only traverse the depth of the tree now since it is a complete binary tree the depth of the tree is again log in so the sum or uh, so the time complexity of this operation is also log in so now uh, let us go into the details of how this works let us now try and visualize what we are exactly doing in the recursive traversal of the tree for finding uh, the sum from a particular range from L to R so let us begin so what we are doing is we are starting a in depth uh, so a depth traversal from the root and so each of these nodes has a segment associated with associated with it right so this node has the segment of 
say its left uh, bound uh, bound is zero and its right bound is uh, what is this seven. So here uh, let us say its lx is equal to zero and rx is equal to seven. So this is the bound of the of this segment. So now what we are going to do is we are going to check if our given range if it lies entirely so if this segment lies entirely in our given range then this is basically part of our answer and if it lies exactly outside of our given range then we need to discard this segment so now let us start making cases so first case it will be that uh, this segment so segment lies entirely in given range okay so what does this exactly mean so now let us say we have our range as l to r and say uh, we reach a node whose uh, segment endpoints are say lx comma rx so in this case what we are going to do is we are going to include the whole segment as the whole segment lies in the given range right so this is our case one now let us see what is our case two uh, okay so for for our case two what i'm going to do is so the next case is that the segment lies totally outside our given range so this is our uh, range that we want uh, to find the answer for and say this the segment of this node lies from lies totally outside so in this case this segment is of no use to us and we will directly stop the uh, recursive traversal over here and we will return to its ancestor uh, same for here we will stop since uh, we have already gotten our answer for this uh, traversal right so here again we will return now there is a third case when the segment lies inside so uh, let's say sorry uh, let's say the situation is something like this that we have l comma r and say uh, this is our situation that some part of the segment lies in our required range so now let us uh, try and see so let us say our required range is from 1 to 5 okay so let us see this is our required range now let us try and see what uh, in what case each of these node falls in so we have 28 so now 28 has this whole segment so we can say that only some part of this segment is actually required to us so we will go to its child nodes right so now don't uh, make this mistake that this segment lies entirely in a given range no this range lies in the segment not not segment lying in a range so that is the complete opposite of this case so this case would be that this is lx and rx and this is l and r so don't uh, mix up the two cases so this again lies in case 3 where uh, it is a part of the uh, given range so we will go to its uh, child nodes now to the left child we will check so what is the segment of the left child it is from this to this right so let me just so this is the segment so it is again part of the third case so we'll again continue our traversal now reaching this node this has the segment from this is the segment for this node right for node 5 so here for node 5 again we will go to its child because again it comes in third case that it is part of the range and now we will go to the left child so once we reach here this is the segment of the left child so now we can clearly see this is not part of any range therefore we will directly discard it and return now once we return we will go to the right child and we see this is entirely a part of this range and so we will again return and we will include this in our answer now once we go to this right child 5 so we see that 5 entirely so this is the segment of 5 right and this falls in case 1 that the segment entirely lies in a given range 
and in this case we will include the whole segment so here we will include the segment and we will return now since this traversal is done we will return and then we will go to the right child now going to 18 we will check if uh, the segment lies in the given range so yes it partly lies because this is the segment and this is the intersection point so yes it partly lies so this is case 3 and we will go to its child nodes now coming to 12 again we can see it partly lies because this is the segment for uh, assigned to 12 and we will go to its child nodes and here we see that 5 lies inside the segment completely and 7 lies completely outside the segment so here we will include 5 and hence our answer will be 2 plus 5 plus 5 so this is how the in-depth recursive traversal works now that's all for this video in the next video we will see how we will implement both the uh, operations on the sum segment tree so yeah i hope uh, you understood this and thank you